Well, hello, my loves. Happy Sunday. This is goodness right here. All this goodness. It's just, look at, look at all of that. This is the result of a couple of months worth of creating. So whether it's membership content or workshop or Sunday inspiration or my own personal projects or commissions or um, contracted work, this is the papers that I've pulled for those projects over the last couple of months. And it's been overtaking my space. So I thought to myself, I said, self, um, I want to be able to use them up because as I, as I was creating, um, let's see, May's content for the membership, it's all about paper. So I was just pulling paper from everywhere. And I, I have paper in lots of different places. Um, and it, I love paper. I'm just going to say that. I love paper. It's everywhere. But there is no way on earth that I am going to be able to use this amount of papers in my lifetime unless I start like actively doing something with them. So I'm going to show you right now. So in my outer, this is my inner studio. In the outer studio where the girls work and we process orders and everything, I have a shelf of containers. And I just recently organized all my papers. I have a shelf of containers that have different papers, like some are napkins, some are tissue paper, some are pattern paper, some are um, like packaging paper. Um, it, I feel a little embarrassed because I have so much. And as I was doing this last um, content for the membership, I was like, this is ridiculous. I don't need another single paper, but I love it so much. So I've got that out there. And then I have in the inner studio, I have wall a wall of clipboards with papers because they're so beautiful. So I treat it like art a lot of the time. And then um, behind me, I'm just going to show, I'm going to take a video of that. So I'll show you down here. So behind me, this is my, this is where all my journals live, right here. So I have multiple journals going at, at any given time. Then below that, it, this is like paper that I use that's fresh and new or whatever, or that I may use for pickup paper or whatever. This is printed collage paper or vintage collage, collage paper. This stack here is the ones that I use the most, but I have them divided into colors, which has been very helpful. And these containers are awesome. And then I these are more printed and vintage papers down here that need to go in one of these, but I haven't gotten there yet. And then there's more <laughs> greens, and um, this is a multicolor, or palette paper. Yeah, I saw all my palette papers. Um, <clears throat> and then, so I'll take you over here. My studio's messy. So I have this, t this tub right here with the drawers waiting for more collage paper and then over here I have another set of um, cupboard drawers that are waiting for collage papers and then here's my wall up here that has more collage papers and then I have um, I have a whole stack of papers, specialty papers, down here. 
So that, that you could say is my addiction. Not papers. I love them and they make me happy. So here's what I was thinking and maybe you'll come along with me. So um, I've started redoing projects or old work. I did that a couple Sundays ago and I'd like to do that like once a month or so. But I'd also like to do this challenge too, like once a month or so, like on the third Sunday of every month, where I take my, I use my papers and I start filling up my, my journals with papers, but doing it not just randomly, but with in pattern. And then, so let me, Move this wonderful stack aside. So let me show you what I've got up my sleeve. Okay. Oh dear, did I lose my... <clears throat> okay, so this is my regular journal that I create in for Sunday for whatever. I do a lot of things in here. A lot of playing. Um, but I thought that I would um, lay down papers um, for today, for sure, but moving forward every third, like once a month. But like today, I'm, I'm going to focus on strips and, and kind of layering them up and, and you know, making it interesting, not just slapping them down. Or maybe the next time I would just do squares. And the next time I would do triangles and kind of fit them together. Or the next time I may do flower shapes and overlap them. So that's what I'm going to do to, one, try to conquer the pile of collage papers that I have. Then, the other thing I wanted to do was I want to do a specific color palette. So I have eight weeks of color palettes here laid out for myself. Now I got these off of colorhunt.co. I'm gonna put these color palettes in the subscriber library if you decide that you want to create along with me in these color palettes. You don't have to. I'm just, this is something that I want to do for me I want to do this to, so like with redoing the old paintings, it's forcing me to um, do them. And by saying it out loud to you and making a commitment, it's, it's making me do the things that, eh, you know, sometimes I just don't do or don't want to do or whatever. This is a practice. And our, I think so often, um, we get caught in the fact that we need to have this perfectly done piece for us to feel like we've accomplished something. And um, I'm really working past that. And, and I think I've done a really great job at that over the last, last year of my year of curiosity and then this year my year of adventure. And so this is another adventure that I want to go on and maybe you'd like to go with me. So um, I... I'll have these color palettes for you if you want to use them, or you can find your own color palettes. You, this play, this um, this website's really fun. It's got everything, and, and uh, I tried to choose color palettes that felt comfortable and uncomfortable because I want to push myself outside of my comfort zone. That's why I want to do the collage papers in in the you know being very kind of specific with the pattern. Then I'm going to choose this color palette and do some color. So I've set some rules for myself. I'm going to do a set pattern for my collage papers. I'm going to do um, a set color palette. And then I'm going to choose one stencil. And then the rest I can mark make or whatever I want to do. I want to try and keep it simple, somewhat simple. Um, but I, I want to be able to play with my papers because I love them and have it just be something fun and not having to be 
anything perfect or special or anything like that. And it's hard for me often to <clears throat> stick to a color palette. It's hard for me to often just use one stencil. I'm going to try my best. I may break the rules every now and again. You never know. But it's, it's, the, it's the act of showing up. It's the act of making a commitment to yourself and to your practice um, to be here at the table, whatever that looks like. And so that's what I'm doing. Plus, this is an adventure for me. And um, it's something that will help me grow and push me and challenge me and um, hopefully teach me new things. It, oh, every time I'm here, I learn something new. And so I want to be able to use watercolors or acrylic or inks or I want to be as creative as possible with this color palette and with the papers behind it. And I don't know what that'll look like from, um, you know, each session to each session. And um, but I, I might even do more not on camera and then show them to you as I, you know, do, you know, one of the sessions with you each month. Um, but I really want to try and like tackle some of these papers. Some I can probably, when I, like this stack over here, I know there's going to be some that I'm going to throw away. Um, but I think it's a great opportunity for me to just let go, use up my papers, get in my papers. I love searching for papers. I love them. Okay, so let's just... For today, this is the color palette I'm going to be using. Now, I'm not exactly sure. So this is a pretty, like, prism violet. I'm going to get as close as I can. And, like, this is a little bit darker, so I can mix some black in with it. And this, I can make, it's a little bit lighter, so I can mix some unbleached titanium. This color here is actually probably a mixture of, like, burnt sienna and um, unbleached titanium or quinacrid mm, yeah burnt sienna with unbleached titanium and then this one's probably raw sienna with some unbleached titanium or gesso one of those so it's an odd color palette because there's not a whole lot of range there and purple's not except for prism violet like when you get it a little bit lighter I don't it's not my favorite but I want to do it because I want to see how these colors look together the other thing that I want to um, say too is um, I can use these colors plus black and white that's it and I love giving myself this structure because it helps me not have to think too hard and just focus on playtime. And so I have no idea how this is going to look or how it's going to turn out or what it's, what it's going to do. And even if I manage to make it to week eight, we will see. I may absolutely hate this, <laughs> but I want to try anyway. Um, so I don't know anything else except for today. I'm going to be doing strips of paper. Um, and I'm going to be varying the colors so that it is somewhat pleasing. And I may even <clears throat> bring in, <clears throat> excuse me, bring in some of these colors if I have them in my papers. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use my daisy stencil. That is all I'm allowing myself. So I can make other marks and different things like that with whatever I choose by pencil, pen, um, soft pastel or whatever like that. I don't have any other rules besides this color palette, one stencil and my papers in some sort of pattern. That's all I know right now. So we'll see where this goes today and in the months to come. I want to um, organize my papers and pull out the papers that I want to use for this and then get going. So 
I hope this will inspire you to just get in here and create and do something simple. And that's my plan is to make it simple so that it's not anything that I have to think about too hard. Um, and I can just relax and play with my papers. Maybe you will join me on the journey. All right, my loves, that is my plan for today. I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful, and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.
Thank you.